Hello all miteinander, guten Abend und willkommen zu Zerdog Zoo Rune Factory for... Okay, for a second there I wasn't sure if audio was working, because those uh, book pages didn't make any noise. Uh, but yes, we are replaying uh, Rune Factory 4, at least I think we're replaying this game. Uh, so, I have already completed Rune Factory 4, I played it on the 3DS, I think it was this channel? I think. I know we played Rune Factory 5 on this channel, uh, but I can't remember when I played Rune Factory 4. I think it was this channel, or it was my old one that sadly got deleted. Either or, uh, I re-downloaded it on my Switch, and then I was just like, huh, I wonder if it's on the PS5. I decided to check, and it is! So we're going to play it again, and this time record it in a good quality. And I'm very excited for this because, as you guys know, if you watched some of the very brief episodes that I made on Rune Factory 5, I absolutely love Rune Factory 4. I think I already talked about this before. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll go over it again. I did not grow up playing the Rune Factory games. I grew up playing Harvest Moon. And uh, one day I went into a GameStop and I asked for a Harvest Moon game and I was given a Rune Factory game because they said it was the same thing and I didn't know any better so I was like, okay, sure, I'll take it. I don't remember what that game was, but it was some Rune Factory for the DS, only game I ever played in the Rune Factory series and I barely remembered it. Then I randomly got it on the 3DS and I absolutely loved it. I went into it with no expectations and it was just, it was great. Playing Rune Factory 5, I just didn't get the same instant spark. I don't know. There was just something about it. I just... Ri Whoa! What is happening? There are, like, so many voices talking to me right now. What in the... There, I just really didn't hit it off with Rune Factory 5. Uh, so, yeah. I'm excited to go back to Rune Factory 4. This was a really fun game. Also, if you're new to the channel and you do like Rune Factory games, we have played some Rune Factory 3... I've been slacking on that, actually. We probably should get back to that. And, uh, a newlywed mode? What the? Another episode? What? What is this? Uh, new? What is this? Uh... Oh, we have to marry people to unlock the... Okay, well, I don't know what that is, but that's like, what's another episode? What is this? What is this? Um, I did, uh, oh, Amber, the first girl, I remember her. All right, I'll click you, I guess. Pico's plot. What is, this? we're just going to do one of these because I have no idea what this is. Is this just like d documentaries on the characters? It's hard to sleep. Oh, this is voice acted. What? My body felt heavy. Oh, interesting. My arms and legs were stiff. And it felt like something was wrapped around me, squeezing tightly. I have no <sighs> idea what's happening right what now. What is this? I don't remember this from the I previous. slowly opened my eyes. Before me was a giant pico. I closed them, trying to pretend I hadn't seen anything. I counted to three and opened them to see pico flying at me this time. I quickly dodged. It wasn't a dream. The giant Pico giggled and dove for me again. Pico, why are you suddenly enormous? I dashed this way and that, frantically dodging her attempts to hug me. She was usually so much smaller. Why was she suddenly so big? I glanced at my surroundings. I was standing on a very familiar table. Aha! Uh -huh. Pico hadn't suddenly grown. I had shrunk. Slowly, my mind grew clearer as I woke up. Dolly, can you believe it? Pico said. Dreams do come true. What are you talking about? Oh, was she dreaming about being ginormous? Just look. You're so close to me, she said, drool slipping from her lips. I took a step back, preparing to run. <laughs> I think about you all the time, milady. All the time. This must be my reward. Pico's eyes gleamed with desire. This is bad. Alarm bells sounded in my head. It was easy to get rid of Pico when she was small, but this would be much harder. I couldn't afford to let her catch me. It wouldn't end well. 
Don't worry, my lady. I'll be gentle, she said, breathing heavily. Um. I thought hard, desperate to escape. What is happening? I had to do something. With little other choice, I decided to gamble. All right, Pico, you win. Do as you like. Uh. Oh my, she said. I can do anything, my lady. Why is this YouTube friendly? Right, Where is this going? As you command, she said to pounce. But first, could you tell me why you're suddenly so huge? Oh, come, Dolly, Pico said. I haven't grown at all. I just made you smaller. She smirked, her eyes twinkling. Got her. She said she made me small. Which means that she knows how this happened. I stifled my annoyance and asked another leading question. One last thing. Will I ever return to normal? I tried to look sad, for good measure. You are such a worrier, Dolly. But you will be quite all right. The potion won't last long. Potion. When I said that, Pico flinched, realizing her mistake. Explain, please. Looking guilty, Pico began to talk. Um, I bought a mystery item at the market, milady. Oh, a potion great. That Test shrinks subject. any who drink a drop of it for ten days in a row. Ten days in a row? Uh, that's weird. Pico, the delicious tea you said you'd found. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my dolly. You are correct, milady. It was quite hard adding a drop to your tea without you noticing. But all my effort was rewarded today. Dolly! <laughs> Pico flung herself at me. If it was a potion, it should wear off soon. I dodged again. And wear off it did, more quickly than I expected. With each escape, I felt myself growing bigger and bigger. Eventually, I slid off the table. Hmm? Oh dear, that was much quicker than I had hoped, milady. The words had barely left her mouth when I smacked her as hard as I could. Aye! She screamed as she flew to the horizon and disappeared. <laughs> what? Oh, well, okay, that was something. Oh, we're not done. Okay, there's more, I guess. Time passed. I got married and even had a child. Wait, what? She gets ma She's a marriage candidate in this game. Wait a minute, what? Days of quiet happiness slowly passed until one afternoon, I found a certain potion at the market. Wait, so is this like talking about when we if we get married? Like if I marry dolls, is this what this portion is about? You've been well behaved lately. Um, Let me make you some tea. I really don't know what to say oh, about all this. This is still way. Exclaimed, sipping the tea. How generous. Well, she's a ghost, so she can't really drink it, only absorb its essence. Still, Ooh. ten days of tea later, Pico Wait. suddenly shrank to the size of a doll. Oh. Yay, a Pico doll, my child exclaimed. Revenge! Pico <laughs> spent a busy day as my child's new toy, being marched about the dollhouse. <laughs> At first she sulked, but I guess she didn't mind the attention. By the end, she was smiling. Now we're even. No oh god. I smiled at both my child and Pico. Pico smiled back. It's your turn next, milady. Look forward to it. Yeah, the fact that she's saying my child, I feel like this is in reference to her marrying the player, after maybe. Marriage and a child, my relationship with Pico will never really change. Is that everything? Is there more? End. Okay. End. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, okay, well, that was something. I I don't. It's Rune Factory Four. That was something. Uh, let's just continue. New, right? All right, we're never doing that again. Uh, but here we are, weather fair skies. Nor Narod Express Destination Cynthia. Goodness, I'm so high up. Wait, what? Oh, would be female characters? No, I want to be a man. I don't know why these choices represent my gender, but all right, uh, sure, okay. The ship is heading to the town of Selfia. I'm ho I hope I'm saying that right. That town is famous for its god. And I am now trying to deliver this gift to her. 
I don't have much time. Excuse me! How close are we to Selfia? Oh, we're almost there! Are you setting out to do a bit of sightseeing? Y yes something like that. It's a real nice town. Beautiful air and scenery. And got a great atmosphere. You can feel the protection of the god when you're standing on them roads. You'll enjoy your stay for sure. I hope so. I'm definitely gonna struggle for this first battle. I don't know the buttons. Psst, can you hear me? Yes, sir. By the way, what are we doing? What kind of idiot are you? Don't you even know why we're here? Well, you always get mad when I ask. What? <laughs> the, the nothing. We're here to see that person over there, see? Eh, uh, it's completely dark in here. Look through the hole, dumbass! Oh, yeah. Uh, I see. So what's that, man? We're going to make a move. You ready? Yes, sir. Ah! Holy swords. Huh? Models look nice, though. <laughs> We're taking over this ship now. If you don't want to get hurt, do what we say. Got it? Just give us that thing and we'll let you go. That thing you're about to give to the native dragon. H how do you know about that? Well, you'd be surprised at what a little research will turn up. How? Oh. How could you possibly? Who are you? This gift is very important. I won't just hand it over to a total stranger! It's alright. I've trained for emergencies like this. Okay, so wait, what? Uh, L1, I think that is? Oh, yeah. Oh, it says L1. <laughs> then I equip the broadsword attack. Okay, so. You, you wanna fight? Huh? Fine, let's do this! Oh. I thought. <laughs> Wow, I already screwed up last game. Uh, yes, sir. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. How? No, infinite loop. Infinite loop, you're not allowed to die. I draw. I draw again. Another monster. I draw. What do you know? This isn't your day! An unlucky break for you! Oh well! <laughs> oh god, yes! Yeah. Infinitely kill the soldier! Woo! Oh yeah! Infinitely kill he- Aww, no. His body gave out on me. How do these people know about this? Anyway, if someone's after it, I have to hurry. <laughs> Not so fast. Oh, oh, oh. Well, there goes the thing. Whatever it was. Wake. Wake up already! Uh, uh, what? Fight Phew! So, what are we doing again? Just shut up and watch! Now then! It's time you tell us where that thing is hidden! Or else! Who are you? Huh? I... Uh... Who am I? Hey, say something! But, but I thought you told me to keep my mouth shut! Whatever! Just do what I say! Such a tyrant. Sorry. Uh, excuse me. 
Uh, uh, who are you? Hey, are you trying to play dumb with us? No, um, I, I, I really don't know. Uh, I'll ask you again. Where the hell is that thing you were holding? I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. You. Sir, sir. What is it? I thought I told you to shut up. Sir, it might be amnesia, sir. What? Are you saying a little blow to the head like that caused amnesia? Sir, I don't know, sir, but maybe? Hmm. Uh... What? Perhaps, um, it is amnesia? How can you lose your damn memory so easily? You shouldn't cry over spilled milk, sir. I know that! Damn it. No, wait a minute. How do we know you're not just playing us like fools? This could be a trick. A dirty, rotten ploy. What? Ah, good point, sir. All right. Take this fool over there. We'll see if a little spot of the threatening brings out the truth. What? If a little spot of threatening... All right. Take this fool over there and we'll see if a little spot of threatening brings out the truth. Understood, sir. What? Wow. Hey, stop! Here we go! Wahoo! Um, what exactly do you intend to do to me? Well, I'm going to... Uh, sir? What is it? How, how do threats work again? You... Oh, just use the altitude, damn it! How? Do I have to explain everything? Threaten to kick this fool off the ship! Uh, like this? Oops. Huh? Yeah. Ah! Who, who the hell told you to actually kick, you dumbass? Oops, sorry, sir. And I am now falling to my de Oh, I fell into a building. Excellent. Uh. Oh, dear me. What should I do? Hmm? What? what? Huh? Ah! Ah! Uh. Uh. Oh. What? What in the heck? Did someone just fall from the sky? A, a person? Yes. Hey! There are you alive? Oh dear. Can it be? Hello? You aren't dead, are you? Oh god, there's a corpse on my bloody palace floor! Oh. Wow. Whoa! It's alive! Oh shit. You're alive! Barely. Are you injured? Well. My back hurts. Oh man. Yes. But that's all. Um... Only back pain after falling from the heavens. Just what kind of body do you have? Are you a Super Saiyan? What? <clears throat> I said, what is it? What? Whoa, a talking dragon. Huh? Eh? Well, all right, I suppose introductions are in order. <clears throat> I am Ventuswill, the Divine Wind. I am Ventuswill, the Divine Wind. One of the legendary native dragons governing this world. Also, dear god, it's deep voices hurting my ears. What? No, it's good something! Oh god! Me? Lady Vincewill! Oh god, I forgot about this guy! I absolutely love this dude! What in the world was that noise I just heard? Oh! Be gods! Who is this knave? Wait, Vulcanon! But, but... I said wait! We are talking now! Yes, ma'am. So, who are you? Well... Enter a name. Lest... Cringe. My name... Is Toma. Yes. A birthday? I was born on the 5th. Good enough. Toma? I think. 
You mustn't give me a vague, non-committal answer. Say it clearly! Well, uh, that's the best I can do, I'm afraid. I can't remember anything else besides my own name. What? Oh my! You speak the truth. Yes, ma'am. I see honesty in your eyes. But amnesia... I'm so sorry for your loss! <laughs> you must be very confused, losing your memories like this! But rest assured, I'll always be by your side! I can't breathe! Oh. oh god... Wait a minute! Perhaps you're the prince we've been waiting for! Hmm... I'm sorry, what? You do have an air of nobility about you. You must have lost your memory from the shock of the fall. Do you have any idea how or why you came to drop in from above? Well, you see... Rebels. Rebels, then. I suspected as much. They must be villains chasing after the prince! You're right. This can't be a coincidence. Vulcanon! Yes, ma'am! Prepare room for the prince! Right away! I excuse me? D do you mean a room for me? Of course! But I didn't fall down with the intent to stay here. No doubt. Huh? Who would intentionally fall from the sky into a castle roof? It seems the fates have decided, of your, decided your course. There's no need to worry, I assure you. You are here because you are meant to be here. But, but, but you shall live in this town, and perhaps in doing so, you may find clues leading to your identity. It seems the most logical course of action, wouldn't you agree? I'm not sure I'd call that logical, but... Are you sure I can stay? Most certainly. Well, thank you very much. There is no need for that. However... I hope, in addition to your own personal details, you've also forgotten the tone of my voice I used earlier. Earlier? What do you mean? My way of speaking, you know, only this, right? You've heard nothing else? What? Oh, you do sound a little different, come to think of it. A little more arrogant, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> so you do remember... Did you just click your tongue diversively? Oh, if you heard the other side of me, I suppose there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, well. Um, Lady Venti? Right. Just call me Venti. B Venti? Sure, why not? At this point, I don't care if you address me with respect. That ship has sailed. Furthermore, stop speaking so politely. It makes me rather uncomfortable. Talk to me like we're old friends, all right? Oh, epic foreshadowing. Hmm. Um, yes, mi mm. yeah. uh, Okay. Right. Good. Now listen. This is important. Do not let anyone else know about this, all right? About what? The fact that I'm actually kind of informal by nature. Oh, so you're keeping that a se- You tell no one! Understood? Y yes, me, v v Venti. <laughs> Lady Venswell, the room is now ready. Well done. Your body must ache. Rest early today, Prince. Let us go. Now, Lord Arthur, allow me to show you to your room. Arthur? Yes. yes. I heard the name of the Prince is Arthur. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But if that's the case, why would you call yourself by another name? Uh... Am I really a prince? I see. Even the one thing you thought you remembered. It must be tough. Uh, no, th that's not what I'm saying. It's only natural that you'd be a bit bewildered. I think it's best that you turn in early today. But... If you're a member of the royal family, your identity shall soon be learned. In which case... You would have to admit that you've forgotten your name. You can't. But I haven't forgotten my name. My name is Toma. Hmm, Toma. That's a hip with it sort of name. You may use that name for now if you wish. But I'm telling you, 
I'll leave the rest to you, Volcanon. Of course. Now, Prince, let us go. I really don't think I'm a prince. Bum, 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 bum. God, this game is so great. Toma. What? Yes? Don't forget about the promise we made earlier. What promise? What? Have you already forgotten? You inconsiderate cur! About the way I talk, my secret casualness! Oh, okay, uh, I remember now. Honestly, how could I have stepped up so bad? Be sure you keep that promise, or else... Okay, I will. Uh, good night, dragon. Well, this is your room, your majesty. Allow me to explain your housing arrangements. Please follow me. God, the music is so good. Oh, my God. This is your diary. You may save your data here. Your majesty, when facing it, you may press X to open the diary. Please try saving your data now. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Uh, let's write a diary. We need some save data, man, because we're going to be Let's Playing this game again. And I'm very excited because I don't remember how I did the last game. I think I went after the Night Girl or something like that. Maybe, I don't remember. We're going to do things differently, though. I plan on capturing monsters and just doing things different differently. By saving your data with the diary, everything related to you will be recorded for posterity. Therefore, I recommend that you save every day before going to sleep. Next up, let me explain your bed. I think I know how a bed works, Volcanon. No, shh, you have amnesia, you don't. Now come, your majesty. All right. If you sleep in this bed, you're guaranteed good sleep. Gee, you, you don't say there. That's what a bed does. You should try sleeping in your bed at night as much as possible. Sleep is good for you. If you don't sleep in the bed, you'll get tired and catch a cold. I don't think not sleeping would lead to my illness, but all right. Sleeping will not only help you recover health, but also help your body grow and mature as well. So you can make children. I'm sorry, what? No, we must be weary after such a day. Since your HP is low due to the damage taken from falling, I would suggest you go to bed immediately and forget what I said. Without HP, you'll be sent to the clinic after one hit. Uh, okay. Then please, examine the bed. Uh, all right, sir, I'm, I'm examining, goodbye. Uh, what's this video at? Only 27 minutes, wow. I really thought that that beginning portion was going to waste my time. <gasps> oh, the maid! I hope this is the maid girl. I absolutely love her. I, what voice do I want to use for her, though? I have to I have to think of something. I, I don't know. Uh, I could give her the Maru voice. I will just give her a sleepy voice. I think that's why I did last time. I don't remember. Link up. It's time to wake up. Yeah, it's her. It's her. I love her. Definitely best girl. She's one of my favorites. We will be traveling with her a lot in this game. What in the... Who? Oh, I forgot the cutscenes! She's so precious. Look at her. She's just a tired girl. She just wants to sleep all day. I love it. It's not a trope that's like overused, you know, but I really like her. Is your name Priscilla? I think I don't remember it, Is she asleep? But I could have sworn she just looked at me Sorry. Um, excuse me. Uh, are you awake? What's your name? Was I close? Was I right? Chlor Chlorica? Chlorica? I was so wrong Good morning uh, good morning. How can you sleep standing there? I don't really know myself. Mm, I think I came in here for something. Oh dear, what was it? Ah, oh, that's right. Mr. Volcanon asked me to come wake you. Are you awake yet? Uh, yeah. Oh, good. Good morning then. And I'm pleased to meet you. And I'm training to be a servant at this castle. Clorica, okay. My name is Clorica, and I'm trained to be a servant at this castle. I'm Toma. Oh, how strange. Mr. Volcanon said your name was Arthur. Oh, uh, no, my name is definitely Toma. I'd rather you call me that. 
as you wish, Toma. That must have a really pretty spelling. Anyway, I'm not terribly sure what is going on, but I'll do my best to serve you. Thank you so much. Oh, here. I want breakfast, so please eat it, if you'd like. God, her voice is so soft. I made breakfast, so please eat it if you'd like. Whoa, it's pie. Apple pie! Whoa! Ooh, that apple pie looks real yummy. Apple pie always been my favorite. Of... Apple pie has always been a favorite of mine, too. Thank, Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. That was yes. I'm so glad. Eat one meal a day and you'll become stronger and stronger. So don't forget to eat every day. Bye. I'll be taking my lead now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, but one last thing before I do. Toma? Once you're fully awake, go outside using the back door. What? There's a field out there. And you're going to learn how to till it. What? Me? Till a field? That's right. Lady Venswell left a very specific instructions. She said those who do not work shall not eat. Well, I am supposedly a prince, right? That's right. So a prince is going to till the field? Of course, who else would? I thought a prince was supposed to have more of a elegant lifestyle. You can till elegantly! Uh... According to Lady Venswell, you're perfectly suited for tilling soil. What does that even mean? I am not sure. Well, I guess I should go and find out. Can I have you join me? <laughs> not yet. Soon. Oh, this guy. I remember him. He's cool, too. I actually really like all the maids in this game. <laughs> You are the prince, right? I've been waiting for you, prince. Wait! I still may or may not be a prince. So, will you just call me Toma? Huh? Please? Yes. I see. Toma. What a beautiful name. Please allow me to formally introduce myself. <clears throat> Good morning to you. My name is Vishnu. I'm training here to be a full-fledged butler. I am training here to be a full-fledged butler. Although at times I may cause you trouble. I am honored to serve you, Toma. Nice meeting you. Why don't I start off by introducing the field? Are you ready? You can grow and harvest crops in the field. Those harvested crops can then be, well, shipped in exchange for money. It's glorious! Used as an ingredient for cooking! What was that music? Or given to neighbors as presents. That's what I'll be doing mostly with mine. By giving your neighbors things they enjoy, you can foster a great and more intimate relationship. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Poor Vishnu, oh no! <laughs> Vishnu, run! He wants that scrambled eggs and sausage with a side of pussy! <laughs> you gotta get out of there, Vishnu! <clears throat> Moreover, after you build a monster barn... Yeah, this is important too. I want to be capturing monsters. You can give presents to monsters and befriend them. I, I think we utilized this, but it might have been post-game. I don't remember. Uh, but I think we could use the monsters to help with the bosses and stuff. I'm not positive about that. But that would be cool if we could. I want to try doing that. I don't remember that monster. That's cool. As you can clearly see, harvested crops have a great many uses. So it wouldn't hurt to grow an awful lot of them. Farming can also strengthen you both physically and mentally. I heard that some crops can be used as weapons. What? Is that a carrot sword or something? What was that? What is that? We're growing into dungeons? Whoa! What? We're growing into dungeons! I don't remember that. At times you'll find runes while harvesting crops. That sounds awesome. If you see one, don't forget to touch it as it will boost your skills. God, I love Rune Factory 4. This game is so great. Runes? Oh, right! I forgot that you've lost your memory. My apologies. Runes are the life energy of anything and everything organic in this world. 
In this case, what you may see are crystallized swarms of runes overflowing from the crops. So farm with love, and your crops will undoubtedly be brimming with runes! Well. Now, about the field. It's a mess! Well. It seems to be covered in weeds, my friend. Quite! It's been this way since the last typhoon! Thank you. But I'm sure with a bit of elbow grease, you'll be able to fix it here up in no time! I'll certainly try my best. <laughs> I knew I could count on you! Lady Venswell had to have mentioned you f your farming talent for a reason. Wait, what? Did Venti say that... <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what did Venti say about me exactly? Was it that I can't read English? <laughs> now let me explain to you how the crops are actually grown. In order to grow crops, you must first till the soil with a hoe. Here. Toma, please take this. A cheap hoe! Wow, yes. thanks, I always wanted a cheap hoe. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, no. uh, cringe. Use this to till the soil. Should you find your tilling attempts to be thwarted by weeds, you may dispose of said weeds by pressing X. Yes. Next, you will sow the seeds that will soon sprout into lovely crops, wherever you'd like. Turnips! Excellent. Well. The starting turnip seeds of every video game ever. After sowing the seeds, you just you just have to water them. I ch water pot. All right, first time. All right. Water the seeds once per day. It is important that you water them every day until the crops are ready for harvesting. And that's how you grow things. Yes. Now, Toma, it's your turn. Give it a try. Till you sow and water. Have you got all that? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, sure. So, can I, like, get rid of these? Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's clear the area. Okay, this and that. Some of these and some of those. And then, what is this? Oh, it's a broken stump. That does not look like a stump at all. Okay, um, how do I triangle, maybe? Square? Uh... Oh, wait, I see it. This one. What? Is it this? No. Uh, I... Oh. I found it! Alright, I don't know how many seeds I have, so I'm just gonna do... This. Okay, it's just one per per thing. Okay. Oh god, the magic spells, I forgot about that. Okay, and I think we have to fill this with water at some point. Is that water? Maybe I don't have any water? Maybe that's why it's not... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to try and leave. <laughs> there we go! You must be tired. Thank you very much. It was simply amazing to see you handle that hoe. <laughs> well, I just have good form. Lastly, it's time to name this farm. Does this really qualify as a yes. farm? Absolutely. By building monster barns and befriending your livestock, you can collect their milk and shear their wool. It'll be a true farmland in due time. Wow. You can also have the monsters help you with your farm work. Thank you. Now please, think of a name. Uh... Hmm... I mean, technically, this isn't my farm. So, we're just gonna go with Selfia. Why not? What a tasteful name! Although you might not have noticed yet. When you do protective work such as farming, your RP begins to decrease. When you use all your RP, your HP will start to being consumed instead, making you faint from exhaustion if they fall too low. So please, be careful. RP can be recovered by eating, bathing, or sleeping. At first, you'll find yourself getting tired quite easily. However, as you get used to it, it'll be much easier to work. Before you go, I have a present for you. Whoa! 
ten of seeds! Oh. You can buy seeds at the general store. So if you'd like to grow more crops, that's the place to visit. Ah, by the way, Lady Venswell was calling you. The center path leads to Lady Venswell's room. That would be the fastest way to get there. Okay, well, we could do that. We could do that. Those are things we can do, for sure, for sure. Um, but I'd rather not do that, and instead do some of this. Why can't I... I know I can get one more there. What? Really? I can't? It's not gonna let me? Bro, what is this? Um, okay, well, one, two... Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I need. Can I? Oh! Ha! I can just throw everything! Oh, it's beautiful! I love it! Alright, now we need to close that. There we go. Okay. Now, where... Sorry, I'm... I'm still really trying to get used to the to the buttons here. Again, I played this on the 3DS. You're gonna have to, to bear with me here. And that was years ago at that, too, so... Please, please bear with me, people. I promise in time we'll get better. Did it do that? I guess it did. Okay. Water that. And then we have to remember to do this every day. Oh, boy. Well, what I really want to do is get to a dungeon. But what do we have for time? We're at 42 minutes. So I'll end this here. And then we will start another video. And uh, we'll go from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully everyone's excited for more Rune Factory. Because I know I am. I Oh, man, I've missed this game. But thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care, everybody!